Today, inshallah, I'm gonna discuss a new unit uh, talking about an accident and uh, a new synonyms for it. Uh, I'm gonna discuss with you unit five on Mega Goal One. But before I began to discuss the new synonyms and vocab, I want to uh, hearing this conversation between Samir and his friend. Let's begin by that. So how did you hurt yourself? I fell off my bike. Really? So did I. My motorcycle skidded on a patch of oil on the road, and I crashed into a car. The last thing I remember was flying through the air and hitting the windshield. I woke up in the hospital. Were you wearing a helmet? Yes, luckily I was. That's what probably saved my life. How about you? I was cycling in the park so I didn't think I'd need a helmet. I don't like wearing helmets. They're uncomfortable and unattractive. This squirrel came out of nowhere. I swerved, lost my balance, and hit a tree. I got off lightly, only a few bruises and a bump on my head. It was your lucky day. Yeah, that's too bad you broke both legs. You're going to be stuck in that wheelchair for a while, I guess. Look at it this way. If I broke only one leg, there might not be enough room for all my friends to write their names on the cast. Hey, would you like to sign your name? If we can notice here, we have some words that written by blue color. That's a real talk what, what we should using with the conversation. For example, lucky day, it's equal a day of a good uh, fortune and stuck in a coat and unable to move out. The third one is, I guess. I guess it means expression to show that we're not totally sure about a statement. And the last one is, look at this way. It's equal to, there is a different way to think about something. Let me complete. So, let's talk about... So how did you hurt your... Sorry for this mistake. That is talking about... Uh, Samir and his friend when he is injured his legs by when he using his uh, motorbike and slide with the oil on the street or on the road. Let we discuss the question and the new synonyms on it. So the mega goal one. If we notice in unit five. The aim for this unit is talking about, did you hurt yourself? Did you hurt yourself? What's the meaning of hurt? Hurt, it means make bad something for your, for your body. For example, blood, crushed, or anything bad one. So after, when we listen and uh, for that conversation between Samir and his friend, we want to discuss and make a quick check. So, vocabulary list, list the, verb, uh, the verbs that refer to injures and hurt. What's the meaning for injures and hurt? Hurt, it means something uh, happened to you, uh, bad things. Injured, it's something cut it to your body and make the blood go out. So we have uh, answers for that. Hurt, got a shock, injured, or cut yourself. And, Comprehension, we should answer true or false about that conversation. Number one, the skateboard didn't hurt himself because he had any pets. Number two, neither of the people who were working on the electronic device got a shock. And number three, the people in the car were hurt. The woman cut herself trying to open a can most of the road accidents are caused by the driver themselves. And the answer for that is, sorry, are number one, we can tell true, number two, false, and number three, false, and number four, true, and number five is true. So if you want to express about that something happened to you, for example, uh, hurt your body or injured your body, we can use that synonyms between Samir and his friend. Which we go back again. Look at the question. 
Did you hurt yourself? Did you hurt yourself? What's the meaning of hurt? Hurt, it means something happened to your body. Even it's shocked or injured or something painful for your body. Let we see the discussion and the answer for the question in the PowerPoint. So listen and discuss. Quick check. We want to make a quick check. Okay. Vocabulary, list the verbs that refer to angels. What's the meaning of angels? If I told you angels, I angels myself. I angels, it means something bad happened to me. Something make a painful for my body. And sometimes make the blood go out. The answer for it is heart. Got a shock. Injured and cut yourself. All of that word, we can use it if you hurt yourself, if you're feeling a pain. After that, comprehension. We want to answer true or false for that previous converse, conversation between Samir and his friend. Number one, the skateboard didn't hurt himself because he had the knee pads. And number two, neither of people who were working on the electronic device got a shock. A shock, it means something happened from electric. The people in a car were hurt. The people on a car were hurt. The woman cut herself trying to open a can. When you want to try and open a can, the woman cut herself. So the answer for that question, or oh sorry, the last point is, most of the road accidents are caused by the driver themselves. I want you to make a tense about that word themselves herself and also when I told you himself, herself, they self, we self, all of that. The answer for that question is number one, true. The skateboard hurt himself because he had the knee pads, knee pads, sorry for that. And number two, neither of the people where were working electronic device got a shock. We can told false, not all of the people, some of them. Number three, the people in a car were hurt. We can told also false, not all of the people just to make an accident. And four, the woman cut herself trying to open a can. That one is true because he, she trying to open the can and after that he hurt herself. And the last one, most of the road accidents are caused by the driver themselves. That's right, by themselves. We can choose true. That we're talking about unit five and the new synonyms which talk uh, about injured, hurt, have a chuck. And we can use that new synonyms if you're feeling pain or something bad to your body. Thank you for sharing for my lesson.